Well, I don't really care for the for the Trump family in itself because they're a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. But especially the sister, um, Donald Trump's sister, basically made a point that I actually do agree with. Basically, she basically Donald Trump's sister um, basically said that Donald was out for himself. Period, which is true. She's like he's she's like he's a cruel piece of shit. You can't trust anything he says. He has no principles, none. The lack of preparation, the lion, holy shit. We've all heard remarks to this effect describing Trump ever since he ever since that stage escalator ride to launch his run for fake president in June of twenty fifteen. But this but this time these words aren't these words aren't coming from the Democrats or the so called media. Rather rather that these are the words of Trump's own sister Marianne Trump Barry. A, a former federal judge told in confidence to her niece Mary Trump back in 2018 and 19. Before you go yelling fake news, note that all of the words of the fake President Trump's 83-year-old 83 83-year-old 83 sister, um, Marianne Berry, are recorded on tape and made public for the world to hear after Mary Trump first provided them to the Washington Post. Berry has not responded to requests for comment about the recordings, and Mary had unknown to her aunt. Record, recorded approximately 15 hours of conversations that the family had, according to what she told the Post. A spokesperson for Mary, who claims that her relatives had lied about the value of the family estate two decades ago, or two decades ago during a legal battle over her inheritance, told the paper that these recordings were made in anticipation of a possible litigation about the estate. The fake President Trump has yet, has, hasn't yet disputed what his sister has said. Instead, he responded in a statement released um, released Saturday night. Um, every day it's something else. Who cares? I said we do because we know you're fucking people over. Um, you don't, you don't, you didn't, um, he claims that he misses his brother, but he didn't care about him. And he says, and I'll continue to work hard for the American people. Yeah, golf, like golf is really considered hard work, badass. Not everyone agrees, but the results are obvious. Um, our, um, our, according to, um, Cheeto, he says our country will be stronger than ever before. Yeah, once you leave, um. He was presumably was referring to his brother Robert, who died on August fifteenth, rather than rather than his niece's father. The fake president held a funeral service for Robert at the White House on Friday, and there's no disputing that Mary is no fan of her uncle Donald. She has declared her intention to do everything in her power to defeat her uncle and elect Joe Biden. The fake president's niece also said on my on the Sirius Sirius X Sirius XM radio show in early August. That she believes her uncle should face criminal charges for his intentional lying to the American people about the risks of COVID-19, as well as for possible financial crimes he has he, that he has committed. Lawyers for the fake president, lawyers for the fake president, have denied any past allegations of wrongdoing regarding his financial records. But let's not lose sight of the candid words of Trump's older sister, who typically has avoided public criticism of her fake brother. She paints not only a damning but alarming picture of her of her um. Of her, of her, of her fat ass brother, when a sibling says in confidence that that the, um that her own sibling is cruel and lies and misleads his base with his phoniness, people should take notice. Unlike unlike Denise Mary, um Barry has no um Barry has no political axe to grind. She was appointed by the, she was appointed by the then Republican President Ronald Reagan to the federal bench, and as she notes in the recording. Her brother Donald used his connections to help her get her name put forward for consideration, but does she? But she does share in these conversations that her brother repeatedly reminded her of his fa of this favorite to point to the point where, according to the Washington Post um report in the recording, she says she told him, "You said that one more time, and I would level the fucking shit out of you." The fake president's sister made it clear she didn't believe her brother and had had any real business acumen because he doesn't. When her niece Mary asked what Donald had accomplished on his own, Barry responded, "Nothing." Then adding, well, he does have six bankruptcies. Trump's com Trump's companies have filed at least four, by some accounts, six bankruptcies. But he has not. But he has not. But he has never filed personal bankruptcy. Barry slammed her brother's separation of immigrant family of immigrant families, what they're doing with kids at the border, and expressed her disbelief that devout people didn't speak up against this type of action. All he want all he wants to do is appeal to his inbred base," said Barry in the recordings. He has no principles, none, and his base. I mean. Oh my fucking god, if you were a religious person, you would want to help these people not do this at all. The former judge also said that when Donald was in school, she did, she did his homework for him, and that she believes that he had some that he had someone else take the exams for him to get into the University of Pennsylvania, and which Trump denies that anyone took the SATs for him. Um, will any of this move the Trump supporters? No. And to those who oppose Trump, these conversations are simply exhibit 
exhibit 1 million confirming their views about him. But maybe, because maybe there are voters out there, especially in swing states, who haven't made up their mind yet in this election, for this upcoming election. For those people, I have this simple plea. Please listen carefully to the words of the of the fake president's own sister who has known him for his entire life. Think about them for a moment and then ask yourself, is this really the person you want squatting in the White House for four more years? So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Van Wyk, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.